What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name's Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I recommend queer books and I like to turn YouTube trends bookish. Today I am sharing with you the books that I read in January. <laughs> Welcome to my January wrap-up. If you missed it, I am going to be doing wrap-ups now. I did a video where I talk about some changes and some announcements, so that will be up above if you missed it. I read three books this month, so let me talk about them. First, I started off the month with House Fires by Connor Franta. I love Connor. I love his books. My favorite is Note to Self and this one quickly became a favorite as well. This is a nonfiction book filled with essays, poems, and photography that Connor actually took. He is a photographer but he also is a YouTuber. I know him from YouTube and this book is going to be a part of my YouTuber book series where I read YouTubers books. So if you missed part one that'll be up above but I loved this so much. I said in my review, which is up on Instagram, that I feel like Connor always writes a book when I need it the most. He talks all about adulthood as he approaches 29 and just about how being a queer person, he just never saw a future for himself. And this book made me cry so much. All of his books always make me cry. His second book, Note to Self, is my favorite and it is the first book to ever make me cry. So naturally I was going to cry at this one but I wasn't expecting to cry on like the eighth page. But this was just so important and I just needed it at the time. I'll read you my favorite quote that I actually also shared on Instagram. I think this is the part that actually made me cry. It wasn't until very recently that LGBTQIA plus people have been given the chance to live a normal life. If you were privileged enough to come out as a teenager in the recent years of the 21st century, fall into the open arms of familial acceptance and live in a geographical location where you didn't face persecution, you may realize this has never happened ever. In all of human history, you are trailblazing an era of hope and freedom. And because I fall into most of those unparalleled categories of pure fortune, I know why it's been nearly impossible for me to picture my future. It has almost never been done before. Or at the very least, it's incredibly scarce and the uniqueness must be acknowledged. And he just talks all about older queer people and just how a lot of us don't see a future for ourselves because we don't see other people or role models and that just spoke to me so much like honestly seeing older trans men that have like children and stuff like that makes me so happy I mean I still feel like that I'm 27 and I just have a lot of feelings around that topic. Adulthood as an LGBTQIA plus person is very hard and I just loved what Connor talked about in this book. He also talks about his anxiety and depression which I really enjoy so trigger warnings for that but I think if you're an adult queer person you're going to want to read this. It is awesome and I love Connor so much. I'll have his channel linked down below if you want to check him out. He has a very aesthetically pleasing videos but I also just love the conversations that he has. He has his own podcast now which I love but yeah I just love Connor. I knew I was going to love House Fires but I didn't know I was going to love it that much. Next I read a picture book and I had seen this around on my timeline a lot on Instagram because I do work with children's books for my job. I want to read more because they're fun and I just love them so much. I read the first book in the Ada Twist series. This is Ada Twist Scientist and it is by Adriana Beatley. I loved this so much. It is about a girl who wants to be a scientist and I really enjoyed it. I have seen it a lot on Instagram so I wanted to pick it up. However, I will mention that it is not by a black author. It is written by a white author. I did think it was fun though and it introduces kids to STEM and especially has girls in STEM which is really nice. So we get to see a brown girl who really is into STEM. She takes a while to say her first word and then just curiosity gets the best of her and she's just asking why and I really enjoyed that because instead of just shaming kids for asking why, this kind of shows a different approach to 
curiosity. Anyway, I really enjoyed it and I get the hype. And last is a book that actually kind of put me into a slump. And this is Icebreaker by A.L. Grazia Day. I still have the bookmark in and I have a reading vlog. It's coming. I just was very slow this month with reading because I'm focusing more on quality over quantity. I don't have a goal so I'm just reading casually and at my own pace. I have a reading vlog in the works. I'm hoping to get it up this week. I read Game On which is an anthology and I read Icebreaker so you'll see my actual thoughts in that video but I loved this so much. I knew I would. It is just a perfect book. I'll link my review down below. I wrote a Goodreads review because I did receive an e-copy from NetGalley and from the publisher. So I actually listened to the audiobook but then my pre-order came and so I read the physical book and it was just everything. It is about Jason and Mickey. They are in college. It's their freshman year and they're both on a hockey team together and they are going to be drafted in the NHL draft and it is a rivals to lovers and enemies to lovers and this is the best enemies to lovers that I've ever read. It was awesome. I wanted to reread it immediately and I am going to be raving about this book forever. There are trigger warnings for alcohol, anxiety, depression, and I will leave the other trigger warnings on the screen but like I said my Goodreads review will be down below and you will be able to see more of the trigger warnings and I just loved the mental health discussion. I was going through some depression at that time that I was reading it so just feeling like I was seen in a book especially about hockey just made me so happy like this got hockey culture right and it was funny and it was just amazing. I have not stopped thinking about the characters and that is very rare for me because usually after I read a book I immediately can't think about it anymore and don't remember what I even read. So the fact that I can remember this means a lot. <laughs> I will have a link down below if you want to pick it up. I just loved it. It was awesome. It is also a male male romance and there is poly rep. We have a polyamorous relationship. Mickey is bisexual but he also identifies as pan and this was just great. I loved it and this was the best debut. I loved it so much. And that was it. Those are all the books that I read in January. I will have a January book haul coming up as well. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and feel free to hit subscribe so you will be updated for all of my bookish content. If you want to see more bookish things from me you can follow me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks and I have my own podcast. It is called Reader Rambles. It comes out every Monday on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts but if you become a patron you will get episodes every Sunday. Thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye!